So ladies and gentlemen, our final speaker for today. He'll be talking about how to build a sustainable multi-million real estate business model. That is Kelvin Fong from Popnex Singapore. Now who is Kelvin Fong? Wow, interesting. He's one of the most prominent team leaders in the company, and his team of salesperson has a strong track record of breakthrough sales with excellent customer service. He counts some of the who's who's in the business world as his clients. Kelvin has been featured as a property expert in numerous media. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Kelvin Fong. Round of applause. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yes. All right, uh, very good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Can you see me? Actually, you don't need to see me because you see the slide will do. Am I right to say that? Of course, as, uh, uh, most important is everybody must be able to hear me, but I'm quite sure uh, because the, the mic is actually quite powerful, I, I feel so. Uh, so, very good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. You know why? Because I'm a Singaporean. My first time coming into this room, no? So I also need to warm up myself to make myself feel comfortable. So can I ask every one of you here, how many of you really here want to build a team one or not? Yeah. Oh, only a few percent. That means this room is a bit not too right. My topic is this something that is wrong, right? So maybe my topic is not so suitable uh, for every one of you here. I'm not so sure, right? But of course, today, my objective and my agenda here is to share with you guys here how I actually build a sustainable business. Especially a lot of people here was thinking, uh, how to build that kind of number of agents here? I'm also in the business for about 18 years. So how do I actually grow? Of course, I, I know that there are also here many senior people who are probably more experienced than me. So whatever I share with you here is really based on my journey that I actually started off as a real estate person. So to, I hope that today my sharing can actually add value to some of you here. If not, let's enjoy ourselves, right? But before I start off this segment here, I just want to ask every one of you, how many of you really want to increase and make a lot of sales fund? If not, you won't be a real estate agent, am I right to say that? But in order to increase your sales, uh, I want to tell you an honest truth. What's the honest truth? You need to build a team. Because why? A lot of time, many people say that building a team, uh, wow, I tell you, earn that so-called miserable numbers and match, got to manage people. Uh, is it very tough or not? Human being, is it the most difficult to manage or not? Yeah. And when we talk about managing them, is it very stressful or not? Yeah. I can hear you because why? How I lead 8,000 people, is it very, very headache or not? Yeah. But of course, important here is how can I also manage it it's so easily? Because why? I tell you, everybody, uh, especially many of us here, as you grow higher and higher, also ego go higher and higher. You know? Am I right? So to manage all these people, uh, sometimes I ask, I ask myself, why, why I have this kind of patience to manage this kind of people? Because not easy. Eh? Everybody has a lot of expectation or not. Have, right? Those who are running a team, uh, some of you probably tell me, hey, some I run 10 people, uh, 10 people are already killing me. But I always tell my agents, I always tell my leaders, uh, if you really want to build a team, that will increase your sales. A lot of people tell me, Kelvin, if I, in, I, if I do my team building, I tell you, my friend, my sales will drop. Is it like that? Is it? Uh? Here, Malaysia don't have this problem. Don't have. Uh? Then very good, I should have come to Malaysia. Because that would be the best way, right? But of course, um, in Singapore, we are very clear. I always tell my people what? Build, build a team because why? They force you to do even better. Myself, my wife, when I started 18 years ago, I'm only myself and my wife, two of us. And I never realized that today I can move into this kind of level that run a listed company. So how I do it? I, I really do one thing, sales. But when I do my sales, uh, actually team building becomes so easy. Let me share with you more. But the only thing is that people will always tell me, hey, Calvin, problem, problem, stress, no time, no time. Because why? 
if I manage people, my time is gone. Am I right to say that? So a lot of people has what? I will do sales better because why? Make more money, ma, correct or not? Why you want to manage people? Don't even earn much single cent at all. But at the end of the day, what, what is the objective here? I uh, do one sales, uh, already make the kind of commission. Why bother to manage people? True or not? I, I'm quite sure. So why people refuse to build a team? No time to do sales. Because do sales, two team building, very difficult. Why? I totally understand, you know why? I trying to recruit a new agent to join me when I was very new that time. I almost give up team building, I want to tell you. Why? Because I, I want to recruit this new agent, I cancel my owner three times. The seller say, don't need to come. This happened to me. So, to build a team, easy, easy. I say, wow, well, last time, uh, seven, eight thousand uh, dollars oh, commissions uh, for, for doing sales is very big for me, you know. I say, am I right or not? I told my wife, at night we cannot sleep because is it the right way? Why I decided to join this, this company to do team building? Because they tell me, hey, I can do sales, I can do team building. But I lost my sales. Then what is team building? Team building, I lose money some more. But luckily, I decided to move forward. I still bite the bullet. I do it. But of course, subsequently, a lot of things had happened. But let me go through some more. People say build team, sales will drop. People say little money. Sometimes you answer your agents a lot of questions, right? Can you imagine uh, your handphone, right? It's always ringing. Hey, my friend, Singaporeans, <laughs> right? So, of course, end of the day here, what's happening? Little money. I still need to handle all these small little questions. So you ask yourself, is it worthwhile or not? I'd rather do what? Do my own sales. This is the most powerful one. No loyalties. But I want to tell you, my friend, it's actually not about no loyalties. At the end of the day, a very simple thing. Why, they don't, why are they not following you? If you can make them make money, would they follow you? Sure, ma. The only reason why they leave you is because they, you don't give them money, ma. Am I right to say that? That is the whole idea, ma. So, for me to build a team that is from one person to almost 8,000 people, there's a lot of retention need there. If not, how to recruit so many people? Cannot be one. Your retention rate must be high or not. That's why a lot of agents are with me are easily more than 10 over years. Why? Because they started as a very new agent. They all the way, whoa, 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 all the way become leader. But to me, uh, in my real estate life, uh, I never bother about loyalties one. I only bother one thing. What can I do to make them make more money? But... If I can make them more money, very simple, they will stay with me because why? I add value to people's life, right? So that is the reason why, to me, no loyalty is never an excuse for me, uh, if you ask me, right? And of course, we still need to provide training. Do sales, still got to provide training. Some of you, I'm not so sure if you are the trainer here, my friend. Sometimes you prepare your training, uh, you expect 50 people to come. Uh, eventually, how many people come? 20%, 10%. Then you feel that, wow, I spent so many nights just to do a training program. I might as well do what? I might as well do my sales. So eventually what happened? Then I think better don't do recruitment. Why build a team? Build a team for what? Right? At least my time, right? And so many expectations from all the agents out there asking, ah, I tell you, these are, I would say generally, uh, if you ask me, because I've been doing recruitment for the last 10 over years, uh, I met so many different kind of people, right? Uh, and a lot of people don't believe because why? I have people who join me, uh, like 30 agents. After that, how they become 1,000 over agents? I also say one thing, I cannot guarantee you can make how many people, but I only can do one thing. I do things for you. How do I grow for you? And some of my leaders today here, they really grow. It's only how they go about doing it. So, of course, if these are the problems that you are facing, I want to tell you, all this can be solved. All this can be solved. You don't need to worry. Because why? I've gone through. Because myself and my wife, despite building my team, my sales still within the company, eh? easily almost every year is the top 10. I also want to win. Why team building is so important to me? Because I don't want to lose. I want to fight with my people. But because of a team, eh? you see, eh? if you only have a small little number of people, no matter what, your sales is just like that. But if you have a group of people suddenly wow, can make that kind of sales, uh, what is in your mind? 
I also want to. That's why last time my sales uh, is about 30 to 50,000, uh, very near, uh, 10, 10, 10 years plus ago. Uh, 30 to 50,000 a month is considered very good uh, for us. Until someone joined me, uh, wow, make more than 100,000 a month. I said, cannot be. I also want to. So to me, right, why I tell my agents, uh, you can still do well in sales. You can still do well in team building. Who says that when I do team building, my sales will drop? Who says one? Actually, you know who says one? We say one. Is it true? Because you say it out, if I build my team, my sales will drop. So who says one? That's the reason why you are not moving forward. So I tell my people, why you can't do sales and do team building? That's why I, as a leader myself, I take the leads. I will do well in my sales. I will challenge it myself, but I will also what? Build my team. I can tell you when you, that's why I told my guys yesterday, I say very simple. Focus on your sales. When your sales go up, people will come and fly to you, blah, 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 come to you. Huh? You don't even need to bother because auto one, this is automatic, right? So, of course, managing people, tao tia bo, tao tia, right? So, these are all the problems. Huh? But I want to tell you, all these things is never a problem. If you understand later on what I'm going to share with you, which is something that I feel very important, right? So, but why do we want to build a team? You have to ask yourself this question, why? Ask yourself your age. How many of you today here are 40s and above one? Don't put up your hand next time. <laughs> All of us are below 40. Even I'm 40 and above, I also never put up my hand. Everybody young or not? I, uh, we always forever young one. We never like to admit our age one. <laughs> Am I right? Forever we, plus one we reach the 40s, uh, the 50, very scary, you know, the number is coming, you know. Hey, that is the reason why I'm saying, where are you now? What's your age now? No, because why? How long? You know why I want to team build or not? Because I tell myself, hey, cannot be 50 years old, 60 years old. I, I want to stand at the void deck at the condo and wait for a Cobra agent to come. No, I ask myself. And especially today, uh, younger generations are coming out. Younger generation. Their IT, their technology, their knowledge. And can we be easily replaced as you get older? Yes, eh. Why? Because they will think that, hey, should I get a younger and dynamic one? So I always tell people, if you can do it early, why don't you do it early? So today, I can enjoy a very good override. I can enjoy a very good one, management fees. Eh? But I also can enjoy one, my sales. That's why I told my wife, I want to do sales. I also can earn my so-called management fees. Why not? It, can it be done? Can. That's why I always tell people, hey, 62 years old, I told myself no. That's the reason why I decided to join this company. Because this company actually have a dual career. That's why I say, hey, I want to because I don't want to be there doing sales forever. So, I just want to share something here. All of us here, as a real estate person, our lifespan is this like that. All of us went through this journey, am I right? From no money to what? From no money to have money, right? I believe many of you seated here. But when we don't have money that time, right? We, is it chong ah, chong ah, chong ah, right? make a lot of money. But sometimes uh, in life, uh, we will reach one stage called this stage, called stagnant stage. This stagnant stage, actually, I, I reached this stage at the 39 years old. 2014, I reached this stage. I asked myself, actually, uh, I can, I ha at that point of time, I already have about 2,005 agents with me. I asked myself this question. Hey, I cannot be forever under one boss, ma. Why I don't set up my own company? But I scared. Eh? Why? I scared. What if don't make it happen? <laughs> because when you don't have money that time, you do you do you bother to think whether yes or no? When we don't have money that time, right over here, do we bother? We don't bother. Eh? We only focus on what? Chong, right? But when you have some money that time, what will happen? I scared to fall down. True or not? I believe many. That's why uh, we always spend our time thinking, hey, what should I do? Uh? Should I do this? Uh, should I change a company? Should I move to another company? Should I set up my own? Have or not? Or should I, you know, uh, in 2014, you know, someone come and look for me, Kelvin. You want to set up an entertainment company to, uh, don't know what called, bow uh, a singer, you know, bow, no? Engage a singer. I said, wow, like that also have, no? That particular one year in 2014 is almost killing me because why? It makes me start to think, wow, I have been thinking and thinking, you know, but they're not. Eh. How many of you got this stage one? Eh? Don't have, right? 
Only me, la. you see. That's why your life is very good. <laughs> what should I do? Should I do more sales? Change career? People ask me, because still got people come and tell me, Kelvin, why don't you leave prop next? I set up a company for you. Don't even need to come out single cent. You just need to bring your people over. I set up for you. Also have, but still can't see. Because why? If you leave, maybe the 2,000 agents never follow you, ma. Will it happen? You also start to think, ma. That is the reason forever you cannot make that one step, ma. But I tell myself, I'm lucky I never make that step. Because why? I spend the time thinking, what should I do? What should I do? What should I do? Have or not? I'm not so sure about you, la. I spend so much time thinking, then thinking, uh, end of the day, what happened? I wasted my time. I wasted my time. Hey, sorry. Uh. I wasted my time and thinking, but what happened? There's no action. There's really no action. I ask myself, why, why, why? And I tell you, I'm not so sure some of you here have or not. So I, I'm really thinking, how fun, how fun, right? Have or not? Headache, headache. Are you thinking and thinking, thinking? Have? I'm not so sure you have or not. But yesterday I just talk, spoke to some people here. I was saying, wow, at my age, I have to think of. Need to do training. Like some of you, some people build team, right? I need to do training, need to do sales, need to do so many things. Wow. Is it very headache? It's a lot of headaches. Eh? So that's the reason why I tell myself, uh, I'm quite lucky because why? I never do anything. I never leave. I told my boss one thing, no. I say, I let you earn what you need to earn, but I don't want to manage things. I focus on what? Build my team. You give me money, I build my team. I do sales, that's it. Because why? Today, honestly speaking, I still feel that leveraging is the most easy. Why make our life so difficult? Because why? Overhead cost, ma. And, and honestly, our age, eh? hey, last time when we are 30s or 20s, eh, your energy very high. Leh. Now when I'm 40s, eh, also not easy already. Eh. <laughs> the energy suddenly will change. Eh. These few days, I'm in Malaysia. Eh. Wow, I was squeezed like, by the prop next people, squeezed until I was also very tired, you know. So last time, no, last time 20 plus 30, uh, you are wah, chong, chong, chong. But now, uh, totally what? Wah, bo siang. That's why I say, luckily, you know, I, in my career, I have managed to grow this stage. Uh. Then at least uh, today, uh, if I choose to do what I want to do, uh, I still can. Eh. And that is important, right? That's the reason why I say very simple just now. If based on my age now, your age now, some of you are so much younger than me, right? Even you are older than me, does not mean you cannot, ma. There's so many things. Because why? At the end of the day, I want to break this whole call uh, framework in our mind. Eh? Team building is difficult. Team building is difficult. Because honestly, 18 years ago, I, I'm, uh, I don't know what is called team building. I'm nobody at all. But today, what happened? Things change. Eh? How come like that? Oh, yeah. Of course, end of the day, we all only have one thing in our mind. We scared to go back to what? Zero. Because we have earned some money. I tell you honest the truth. Every one of us, we earn money, but we also scared to lose money. Because many of us here started off as a real estate person, what? Don't have a lot of money. When I buy my first property from, my, my, from, from me and my wife, uh, I remember very clearly, I still need to borrow money from my father-in-law, 5,000 just to buy a house. That is my kind of time. I even have to buy master bedroom set, also child month installment fee, you know. That is my life. So I, I can understand it. Because why? We scared to go back to where? Kosong. That's why a lot of people dare not make the move. That's the same as me. La. Luckily, I can't see. La. Right? I choose to stay back. So at least today, I can still run a very strong team. And today, I still have a good income la, regularly. Right? So that is important. That's why I decided to make a choice. Eventually, my numbers go up. My number, when, when I decided 2005 agent in 2014, when I decided I wake up in the morning, I tell myself, no, I want to focus, I want to stay. From then onward, my numbers went up to close to 5,000 people in about three, four years. Then I officially become a executive director of the company to run the whole company with my boss. So that is my journey of how I actually do. But if I make a wrong choice, I may end up with nothing because I've seen a lot of people who make a lot of money eh, in real estate. Eh, their mind will be easily shifted. They went to do business, do a lot of things. Eventually, what happened? 
still come back to real estate is the best. Because real estate, no need what? No need pun zi one, right? You only need to use your mouth to talk only, right? But if you set up business, you need a lot of what? Overhead costs, eh? especially uh, burn rate. Eh? Like today, virus is a lot, right? Whether virus or no virus, uh, whether if there's a virus, uh, if there's no sales, you still got to pay your staff, eh? all right or not? Is it easy? Wow, a lot of stress, eh? right? That's why I say, put the stress to my boss. But now, no choice. Uh. Now, I also manage all this uh, because now I'm also one of the director of the company, as well, Bopian, right? So, why am I sharing all these things with you guys here? Because I only have one thing in my mind. Actually, team building is something that forced me out of my comfort zone. I have seen a real estate agency from 7,000 agents uh, to today uh, becomes Kosong, you know. So I tell myself, I'm so blessed uh, that I have a team of agents working with me, right? These people forced me to be who I am. Eh? Last time you asked me to stand here and talk to you, uh, right? but today, uh, because of my agents, uh, it forced me out of my comfort. And today, what happened? I don't want to be replaced. Real estate, uh, to be honest, in this real estate business, things can change or not. Change can be, you know, because why technology will come in place. Eh? I went to Chongqing recently, you know, Chongqing. Do you know why, how they buy property? Use WeChat. Very simple. All the units is already placed here. What happened? See who press faster, get the unit. Money will auto transfer. This is going to happen. Will it happen in future to us? Yes, eh. Do they need agents anymore? Sorry, eh. they don't need that. Eh. They only need people to be standing there, that's all, you know. And that is how scary. This is in Shanghai now, in Chongqing now. So, what will happen? Yes. But I always tell myself one thing. I always tell my agent, don't worry. Why? Because today I teach my people don't sell property. You know, sell what? Sell yourself. <laughs> because why? Your cell will never be what? Replace one, ma. Correct. No one can replace any one of us, true or not? The only way that we will replace is because we don't change the way we do things. Last time we are order taking. Order taking will be gone. Do rental one, maybe will be gone too. Because why? Online can settle everything. That is the whole real estate world. But can we wait for things to happen? Sorry, I can't. I have to move faster than anybody because why? I cannot afford. That's why I have to train my people what? Don't sell property, sell yourself. I only share this because why? One day, as we get younger and younger, if we have a very strong group working with you, at least, at least you have something with you. This group of people are with you. At least your income is protected. Very important. We don't want end of the day here when we are at that age, uh, we cannot move forward. We are replaced. But at that point of time, maybe many of us can have a lot of liabilities time. What we are doing now is to prevent ourselves from being replaced. That's why I always tell my agents, Never, never be comfortable. Even today, no matter what I have, I still want to be what? Comfortable. I cannot accept myself to be comfortable. I still chong all the way. Because why? I always believe this is the way, right? So why I decided to build a team? Because I do not want to do sales forever. I want to have a passive income for myself. I want to do sales and team. And of course, I want to work less and have what? Consistent income. And this is my team. So this is the team that I've been working hard for from a one-man show, really, to the number of agents that I have. Uh, for me, I, I, I really never know I will have all those things, but I just believe one thing. How can I add value? These are the people, I tell you, many of them here have worked with me for more than 10 over years. This is my life, right? So that's why I today want to tell people who haven't built a team, this is the time. Don't say, I'm not impossible. Please say, I'm possible now. Because why? This is a person here who has done it. I believe many people can actually do more than what I have done and it's only whether you want or you doesn't want it to happen. I'm very confident that all of you sure can. This is about my articles in the Straits Times in a national paper, how I started with my wife. I'm actually from a low-income family. I'm just a nobody to be honest. In fact, uh, I also feel in my studies, some of my English, uh, people study four years, I'm more clever, I study six years. Yeah, I, I have a low self-esteem one. I am an introvert my, myself. People say, Sir Kelvin, you on stage is different. You go to the, you go there and sit down, you are a different person. You are like dead, dead corpse, right? Because you don't talk much. Uh, this is me. But on stage will definitely be different, right? So I also have no confidence about myself. I low self-esteem. That is the reason why today, my friend, this team 
Team building is not about making money. Team building changed my life. Changed my life from a nobody to today, I can be here talking to you guys. If not, I will never think that this person who feels English can be standing here and talk to you in English some more, right? But this is my life. That's why I'm saying that many of us here, we are just a normal person out there. But it's, it's environment and the people that push us who we are. So today, I'm 18 years in the business. This is the book that I wrote. I also uh, invested myself running the agency and I do a lot of training. I do a lot of public speaking. I do a lot of consumer seminars for property related. This is my strength in terms of what I do. So today, I want to share with you something called the MCM, not your bag, lah, oh. not your MCM bag, right? It's something called the M and the C and the M. So what is this? First, we, our mindset that must be right because a lot of people will feel in this. Second, culture. Culture is the most important. How to build a team, the number one thing that in mind is culture. Because culture can solve everything, which I'm going to explain to you in a short while. Methods. What is the methods that I do? So why team building? Why must we do team? First, as I mentioned just now, team building increases sales. If your agent tell you team building will not have sales, tell them, no. Team building will have give you more sales. Because why? Challenge, ma. compete, right? We will get tired after 10 over years running business there, right? Sales, run here, run there, right? Cannot be replaced. Cannot be replaced. Build your inner, like myself. This team built me who I am. I can deliver. I can talk now, right? I never expect. So, I want to tell people here is because why? Don't look at team building It's just a money-making machine. No. Team building is really change someone. Our life deserves to be more interesting than just become a salesperson, just become... I always told my people, no. Hey, please don't become a salesman. Don't just become a team leader. You must also become someone that you never think that you can. Eh? Because why? Everyone deserves a wonderful life, ma, right? Enjoyable life, right? Like, like myself now, I can do so many things that I never thought that I can, ma, right? But is it possible? I would say yes. It's only whether how we go about doing it. And most important, it built my, my confidence up also. Second, my income. Today, that's the reason why I have a very sustainable income because these people actually rewarded what I have gone through for the last 10 over years. So this is how I feel that you must. Trust me, this is a very, very memorable journey from you guys here. If you can make it happen, things will be wonderful for all of you here. So the question is how, right? How can we go about doing it? First, mindset. So what kind of mindset that we have? There's two types of mindset that we have. First, fixed or growth mindset. What is the difference? Fixed is what? And growth is what? Fixed. I one I cannot possible to do it one. I cannot make my one million dollar sales one. I cannot build a big team one. But a growth mindset is what? Never say what? No one. Always eager to learn one. But Team building is slowly, step by step, step by step, right? Even today for me to talk, right? It's also step by step. Huh? Now, can I ask you, all of you here, you are fixed on growth mindset? And give yourself a round of applause huh? because you are sitting here the you know, whole day, right? Right? That's the reason why to me, every day is about learning. Today, I'm very happy to be here. I also hope that I can learn something from all of you. You can also learn something from me as well. And this is how we actually improve ourselves, right? Really, that's why I'm saying why mindset is so important. If we fix our mindset, that's it already. Life will be, that's it, full stop. But if you look at a growth mindset, your, your life will be so wonderful. There's so many things that you can do. So I really hope that every one of us here can continue to learn, even myself. I still believe in learning. That's the reason why I want to improve. But of course, change. Do I dare to take risks? Sometimes, it's just about the risk. If you make a choice, things can make a lot of difference. It's whether you dare. End of the day, I want to tell every one of us here, we all start with nothing, zero, I believe. We can start from zero and today you can sit here and doing well. Even if four to zero, you can also fight back. I'm very confident because we are who we are. It's only whether we dare or dare not. That's why second thing very important is what? Must dare to what? Compete. What do I mean by compete? You look at here, how many fish are there? 10 fish. How can you increase your sales? 
if your fish tank is so small, it only can have 10 fish, uh, fight like fight, you must be 10 person fight only. You, this year you're number one, next year you're number one, next year you're number one. Fight like fight, you must be 10 person. Is it meaningful or not? Is it fun or not? Want to fight, right? Go where and fight? Go ocean and fight. Because you'll see big shark coming. Hey, that's why I'm saying, why I want to build a team? Because why team build give me a bigger sales figure. Team building is the way you can actually see, see your sales going up. That's why I can cross my million dollar sales. Why? Because my agent crossed one million, I better fight. Last year, my company, total 21 of them crossed a million. The top one, number one crossed more than three million in, the, in terms of sales. Then I say, wow, I better also be like that. So it gives what? Challenge. I tell you, in life, there's no challenge. It's called comfort life. Eh? Comfort life will be what happened? Replace will come. Eh? Replacement will come very easily. Can we allow this to happen? I always say no. That's the reason why team building is to make us be what? Uncomfortable. Only when we are uncomfortable, our life will never be replaced because these are the people that push you to be who you are. This is a very important theory that I hope that many people can understand. Why is it important? You just need to understand. When you have more competitors, People always think, wow, if I go to a very, very big company later on, uh, very competitive, how? What if I'm not being ranking, how? Well, how come if I'm not number one, how? What's so big deal if you earn only little? Might as well go and become the number 10, uh, you still make more than other people. Sometimes uh, in a big company, top 10, uh, just like one of my agents, a uh, lady agents, a uh, very, very interesting lady. This year, he number 15, uh, also make 1 million. You know my company now, sir? Make one million, no big deal. To be number one, then it's more big deal. Because number one is only one. Now millionaire, Bobake one. Because many millionaire. Last time to be a million dollar sales uh, is not easy. But today, things change. Things change. Much more easy life than last time how we started. So that's the reason why I, I, I say it very important. Competition in a big environment, what? Push everyone to even do what? Better, right? That's why win big. Challenge yourself to win in a bigger platform. This is always I feel. Why am I telling you, my friend here? Because I only want to tell you because we don't want to be replaced. So when we dare to challenge ourselves in a bigger platform, you will never be replaced because why? You are always fighting. When you are always fighting, will your sales keep going up? Actually, you become richer and richer. That's how I feel it, right? Of course, there is always people who say what? Not possible. Of course, 80-20 rule. 20% will definitely do well. 80% will always say no. It depends on what you choose. I only can say, I dare to make a move. I dare to challenge. So it's about yourself, whether you want to make it happen or not, I leave it to you, right? That's why never, never what? Say no, right? From now onward, what must we say? Yes, right? This is the way, right? No more no, no, no. I tell you, my friend, I'm a nobody. I can still achieve what I have done. So I'm very sure that many of you here better than me. That's why create. Create a future for yourself. Create something for yourself. Create your life to be meaningful. Everything can it be created. Can. Why not? That's why today I can create myself. I never know I can drive a big car. I never know that I can bought. This is one of my landed property I bought more than uh, recently. But if you ask me, 10 years ago, do I think 18 years ago I said no lah cannot be right. where got such thing but I only tell myself I want it step by step step by step today I never thought you know really my friend I still remember 18 years ago when I married my wife uh, you know what car I drive 660cc and I drive to KL some more I say I don't know how I drive also <laughs> really that is my, my time you know but I'm so happy because uh, me and my wife, this is a memorable journey for us. From a from really simple person, today we have moved this journey. So I believe many of you here can do magic, really magic, wonderful magic, right? That's why in this year 2020, I always tell people, to be successful, you need, you need to do what? Demand yourself. Be inspired. Not about, I'm not sorry, I don't want to be here to howl it because many of you are better than me. I only want to do one thing here because I just want people to feel that, hey, I also want to. But important, you must demand yourself to be there. Demand yourself that I want it as well. No one will know whether yes or no. But if you dare to demand yourself, things can change or not. 
can because why? I dare to. I ask myself, I want to be different. That's why today I ask my agent, I demand you to be someone because I am a nobody. But today I push them to be who they are. That's why reason for me one. To me, my journey, my life is very interesting because I can help and train people. I can change people's life and that's make me someone that I'm very happy to do my job. Real estate to me is really my passion, right? This is where I started off in my life. That's why I want to say whatever age you are, whether good or bad, it's not important. Important is what? Let's chong together. Let's move forward in life, can or not? Right? Most important, whatever it is in the past is not important. Important is I dare to demand myself to move forward to create a better future for all of you here that all of you can even do better because we are a role model my senior people who are here you guys are the role model of many people who are the junior people here so I'm very sure that you guys can make a difference to inspire more people out there to be someone right so another thing that I want to talk about here is what, what is the four winning strategies in terms of the methods first training support like, to, to run a big team, to run a team, first you really need a lot of training. People want training because why? Especially the younger generation today eh, talk about training. But in order to do that, you really need to leverage together to work. If you depend on yourself to run a business, eh, to you, I need to do training, I need to do sales, I need to do... I tell you, it's not easy. Why? Because today it's all social media. Last time, eh, we only used newspaper, right or not? C and C are also inside newspaper. But today, social media is scary. Eh? Hey, how come uh, your company never do? How come your team never do? How come your one? Now people compare, uh, it's different. No? Last time when I joined a real estate agency, uh, I blur blur join somebody. Today, the new agent do what? They interview you. Uh. <laughs> is it Bo Xiang? Life changed. Eh? Last time, the, we go and join them. We are like Kao Tao now. Now different. Eh? They interview me. Hey, why must I join you? Wow. Suddenly, Topale, no. So, so it's a lot of different because why? The younger generation is totally different now. But actually, uh, this is their strength. Last time we can't see, we don't know how to ask. But today, the younger generation, uh, they don't care who you are. They only care about themselves. I want to be with someone that can, can give me one. That is the truth, right? So, of course, next thing is what? How do you create a brand? Very important. Of course, personal branding is important. Yes. How do you create? Today, uh, real estate has changed. Uh, a lot of marketing, a lot of branding is required. First, positioning is very important. You need to position yourself someone. Later, I will show you what's called positioning. Consistency is it important. A lot of people ask you to do Facebook. Uh, after a while, you never do. How many of you got IG one? Only 1%, 2%, 3%. <laughs> 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 right? Actually, uh, just to manage these two accounts, right? Double A, Right? A lot of time wasted. <laughs> right? But of course, today, we need to move with the young gen. Uh, we have no, no choice that uh, we call IG, uh, Instagram, right? If not, uh, it cannot ask me what is IG. Because some people say, what is IG? Right? <laughs> because the young gen say call IG. So today, it's all about what? All this. And, and, and very important, uh, my friend. Another thing is called like. If you go and like people, no use one. Uh, because like, they cannot remember you. Now you must do what? Comment. But when you comment that time, uh, they will say, hey, I don't know you, how come you comment me? Eh? So, but when they comment you, you gave all man, correct or not? You see, hey, why this person comment me? So what will you do? You will go and check it out, right? Correct or not? So when you check it out, how? Hey, this person comment about me, Nizam Gafo. Hey, which one is actually the trainer? You know or not? You do you know? Who is the trainer? You don't know, right? You don't know, right? That is the problem. You put this picture, it seems like you are a participant. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> so is there a value? Next. Family photo. Eh? Oh, this one family man, not my problem. Next. Why? But when you see this, ah, is there a problem? Is there a difference? Wow, this one, ah, get awards one. See, still can speak one, still get awards. So this person become what? Is, it, is there a lot of difference? Will you bother to scroll your Facebook and see what is inside? Yes, uh, because why you gave Boma? You want to see, eh? But this is the truth. If you want people to know you, you must create. So today, what happened? What must you do now? Go back and do it. <laughs> right? <laughs> because why? People must recognize you. Man. The objective is brand. People must know you. That's the reason why today I don't, I don't like, I comment and like. 
because I want to be, make people know who I am. So when they know who I am, they will see, hey, oh, this person is who and who. So he will look through my portfolio, my profile. That is where people start to recognize you. Because other people will start to say, hey, who are you? Oh, I see, oh, this is how it works. This is my uh, oldest agent, 72 years old. Oldest agent. This is all, hey, you know, huh? for him, huh? he looks 72 years old, right? He always recruited all the pretty and young lady. Eh? <laughs> yeah. You see? You see? Sweet boy. Oh, young one. Why all these people join him? That's why don't worry, my friend. Even if you're at what age, no problem. Still got attraction one. Law of attraction. You know why? <laughs> all look for father. <laughs> so, don't worry. Whatever your age, you will have your what? Attraction come to you. Don't care, no care, right? Because why? All these fine love one. Need father, tender, loving care. Hey, today uh, he almost 80 over agents. Eh? And he's supposed to retire at the 55. Uh, what to go uh, 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 so called be security guard? The person said, You are too old. So, Bobian. So, he found real estate. He started with me at 70, 30. Eh? Today, he has built a team. Eh? Today, at the age of 72, huh, you know what he do? He still give ang bao. Eh? Those who make $10,000, eh? he give ang bao. Eh? You know why he give ang bao? You know why he give ang bao? Branding. Take photo. Then people will know, wow, this, um, this father very good. Like, give ang pao one eh. <laughs> Hey, I tell you, my friend, at his age, uh, he can do this kind of magic. Uh. It's a lot of young people don't do, you know. His passion is not about making money. He really enjoy his life. At this age of 72, uh, he still goes zook one eh. <laughs> Yeah. This is called life, ma. This is meaningful, ma. Happy, ma. Well, must be happy, right? This is life. And, and I really feel that, uh, you, you ask me to retire, I don't want. Because why? My mom's 72 years old. Uh, if you ask, I went to China with her to climb the Beijing Wall. Uh, what happened? She will sit there. Then we go up. I, I think I want to be like him. And today, uh, he just texts me. Uh, wow, my management fees, uh, Kelvin, $18,000. Hey, 72 years old, make $18,000. Management fee, not bad, right? Dear right? This is what he is today, right? So, of course, the thing is what? About leveraging. How can you leverage? Very important. Today, one man show, I tell you, Joe right? Really, really, not easy. Today is a bit different because of social media, because comparison. I compare about you here and there. That's why it's very tough. That's why, why? Collaboration. Today is all about what? Today, how can I build my team? Because why? I have a team of number of leaders and agents who are helping me in terms of doing training. I give them this platform to learn. This is the platform to learn. And I tell you, uh, my guys, uh, if you never give them the things to do, uh, they will feel what? Kelvin, is it I'm not good enough? Why you never give me to do? Because in real estate, uh, you don't pay them salary. Ma. And they still work for you free. Eh? All my events uh, are all run by my people. Like this coming Tuesday, this Monday, I'm bring back. I will have my gala night for my people. Same thing. Is it run by me? No, my people. So. Everybody needs to have a what? A platform to grow. And that's the reason why it's important what? The culture. What is the culture that we need to have? First, willing to give. I know in real estate, a lot of people will have this kind of mindset. If I give, will I be taken away? If I give, will they stay with me? What if I give so much, at the end of the day, they leave me? I tell you, I built my team. Is I dare to go the, out of the norm? I transparent and give all. Why? If people want to copy me, it only tells me I will move faster than the rest. If I scared people copy me, you will never grow. That's, my, that's me. When I start to give, everybody start to give. That is the culture. Willing to share. Willing to have an open heart. Give. To build a number of agents, the number one person must be the one who is willing to give first. When you're willing to give, people will give for you. And you will start to grow even bigger and bigger. Because why? Everybody wants to have a good culture. I understand that real estate is a so-called, people say, it's a very under, underworld kind of uh, environment. But I tell you, my friend, why we want this kind of environment? Everyone wants to have a what? Good culture. My agent was asking me, Kelvin, your culture is so good. How come later on somebody join you from another company? What happened? If their culture is not good, how? I told them one thing. 
Nobody don't want a good culture. We can influence them to change to our culture. Because why? Everyone wants to be in a very nice environment. No one wants to be in an environment where it's not healthy. That is the number one thing. So I always believe what? Give. That's why why I can team build so easily. Very simple. As long as my leader, myself, doing the right thing, my manager will follow me, my agents will follow me. So people ask me, how do I build 8,000? How do I manage 8,000 people? I never manage them. I never. I connect with them. I work with them. That is my, my magic. I duplicate. So can you imagine, if, you're, if you are the top guy and you, you can duplicate this whole thing, uh, I tell you, it's all about duplication only. No problem. Real estate team building is not difficult. From now onwards, it's not. That's why I want to tell, share with you something. What is the difference between manage and connect? What is the real difference? I tell you, manage. Manage, the word called manage, is it very tao tia? When you manage people, is it very stressful? Stress, uh, manage. Uh, you, the word called manage is really stressed already because you use the word manage. Ma. So next time, don't use the word what? Manage. Manage, uh, start, you use the word manage. Uh, you see, wow, manage. Oh, yeah, sien, uh. Expectation. Manage, you got expectation. Uh. When you manage somebody, right, do you have expectation on that person? I manage you, uh, means you might, I must you, I want you to be like that. But what if they don't give you that? that? You feel sad, ma. you feel disappointed. Ma. Any expectation you want, my friend, as a leader yourself, once you have expectation, the next thing come to you is called disappointment. Very a normal one. So to me, it's what? No expectation. Manage got angle. Because why? I manage. Because you use the word manage, it's angry. So what? I say use, connect, understand. So I talk to my people, it's very simple. I connect with them. I don't manage. Manage. Once you manage uh, your brain, uh, your brain, uh, once you use the word manage, uh, you will feel a lot of frustration. But once I use connect, uh, you suddenly change one. You feel yourself. When you use the word connect, uh, I want to connect with you. Once you use the word connect, do you feel lower down? Why a lot of people cannot build a team? Because they always think they are always on top. But when you use the word call connect, you are actually on the ground with them. People stay with you because they know that you connect with them, not managing them. That's the reason why I have a strong retention. Because I connect with them. I don't manage them. Manage is giving me headache. I don't want. Right? I accept them. First, also must learn how to accept. Lah. I tell you, in this world, it's like that. Everyone is different. Got good one, got bad one. Got Tao Tia one, also have. Tao Tia one only make you stronger. Train your patient. Lah. Right? That's the only thing. Ma. That's why I, I, my patient quite strong one. Right? Focus on what? Improving them. So to me, will I have any stress? No. Because I don't manage. I connect. I connect. Connect make me what? Happier. Encourage them. That is the key. Right? So, four winning strategy. First, training. Like I mentioned. Branding. Leverage. Culture. These four things, if you can do it correct, my friend. Team building is never a difficult thing in my life. That's why I want to share with you, every one of you here. Team building really transformed my life. I, I believe every one of you here, if you look at team building, it's not just about making money, it's to make you be someone out there to be there for people. I'm very confident in my journey, 18 years, it changed my life. I believe that you guys here today, my sharing here with you guys here, I hope that let's look at team building is to help someone to be better off and help others to be even better. And that is our role as a person, as a team leader, as a manager, that is our role. Thank you so much for your time. I hope that I'm not, I hope you enjoy my session here. Thank you so much, thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. Kelvin. Please stay on the stage. Now I would like to call our past JB Chairman, Mr. Lim Alek, to come on the stage to present a memento. Mr. Lim Alek. So ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for Kelvin Fong.
Right. Thank you so much, Mr. Kelvin.